Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and important sky and one of the luckiest days of the year set to take place as well. But I'm gonna start early in the month. Right around the fourth or fifth of the month is when we are going to have a new moon. This new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with a few different things. Contracts, negotiations, agreements are covered here. Communications of all kinds are covered here as well whether spontaneous, whether conversation, whether in writing, whether social media or text message. But also here is a sense of the connection that you share with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. And this particular new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter. So it looks like these particular people and it looks like these areas have big blessings on offer for you. This is a very social part of the sky as well. Speaking with Jupiter, also in a social part of the sky, you'll be connecting with all kinds of people, sometimes very spontaneously, sometimes very synchronistically, but it really is these big opportunities that come as a result of who you know or who you run into that are going to be part of the great potential now. However, what is also happening with this new moon is that it will be speaking in conversations of tension with Saturn and with Pluto. Now, both of these planets are in the sign just before yours, and this part of the sky has to do with a few different things, but what I'm seeing more than anything is that this is your own sense of restlessness, your own fears that can be stirred at this time. And I would also add, there may be an element here of unconscious behaviors that you don't realize that are actually getting in the way. Anything from the Freudian slip, right? So what that means is uh, it's this sense of you saying something and not realizing what you're saying or thinking you said the wrong thing, but it is actually very revealing about what is happening within your psyche. But also, it's almost as if you may say something that uh, gets in the way of your intention. In some way, there could be a big opportunity or the potential of a big opportunity but it is you that gets in the way of its full manifestation. Now, regardless of what happens, it is ultimately just a learning opportunity. It is an opportunity for you to become more aware and to heal whatever needs to heal in terms of your fears and in terms of your faith and rooting yourself in a faith that is real and in a faith that is based on uh, something essential beyond the superficial. That is part of the blessing of this time and it sets you on a new path and thinking of things in a new way that ultimately will empower you once you move further into the month. Now, some of these tendencies I mentioned can show up professionally. They can show up in, as I said, those interactions you have with others, but in particular, you want to watch with your siblings, cousins, and neighbors. It is these people in particular where some of the tendencies I mentioned here become that much more likely. However, we move you towards the middle of the month. Right around the 14th of the month is when we are going to have one of the luckiest days of the year. This is the sun speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter. And think back, right? The new moon also speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter as well. This is precision. This is amplification of the very best energies that are on offer. And this is great potential as well. The potential to understand how when it's the right time, you will find yourself in the right place and having that right conversation and things can just fall into place in profound ways. It is as a result of the soul searching, the insight that you gain in the early part of the month with that new moon that ensures you are truly ready for and open for what finds you mid month. Now, for some, this could be an opportunity to uh, do some short distance travel. For others, an opportunity to teach. It is whether you're engaged in these actions that open up more opportunity for you, or the opportunity is in and of itself 
these very activities. Um, but again, this is contracts, uh, agreements, negotiations. They can go exceedingly well under a sky like this, especially mid month. Whereas there is that bit of challenge in the early part of the month, you're able to transform the energy in tremendously meaningful ways and feel very much like you've come out on top. I would also add, you will be very influential wherever there is that an important conversation needs to happen. An important connection needs to happen. You will find a way to do that as we get to the middle of the month. And wherever it is that there is some important ask that needs to happen, well, I would advise you to do that in the days surrounding this beautiful connection between the sun and Jupiter. Now, as we move forward in the month, we are going to have a full moon. This full moon will be taking place right around the 19th of the month. And this is what some people call a blue moon. So a blue moon, is not necessarily a scientific term, right? Uh, when we look at it from a cultural perspective, it refers to one of two things. Sometimes it can refer to the second full moon in a given month, and it can also refer to the second full moon in the same sign to take place back to back. And that's the case here. If you remember last month, right around the 21st, we had a full moon. That full moon happened at the very beginning of its respective sign. So as much as full moons can bring a sense of closure and completion, the full moon also brought with it a sense of beginning. Well, now here we are, and this particular full moon being at the very end of its respective sign, well, what it tells me that the element of closure is that much more heightened. There's more emotion, more intensity, but also a sense of finality as well. Now, what is transpiring here is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with a few different things. It has to do with uh, legal matters, uh, higher education matters, long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, political matters are covered here as well, as well as philosophical matters and your understanding of your place in the world, literally or figuratively. This can be a whole new orientation to the world around you or a whole other perspective that you hadn't considered before that may take you by surprise, but also is part of great blessings for you as well. So this particular full moon is going to be speaking in harmony with Jupiter. So there's that element there of blessings. It may take some of your own actions, uh, some of your own intentions to make those blessings come about uh, to their fullest potential, but that is there. However, this full moon is also going to be standing across the sky from your modern ruling planet Uranus. So there's an element here of surprise. For some, it may be shock. Uh, there's a quickness here, but because it's your ruling planet, what does happen is deeply meaningful for you. And the possibility of things not only moving quickly, but closing very quickly. Uh, becomes that much more likely. And so if it is that you're doing any kind of traveling right around this full moon, uh, I would advise you to give yourself lots of time. Uh, things really can go in all kinds of directions and take you by surprise. Uh, you may also find the experience to be that much more meaningful, if not life changing for you. If you are involved in any kind of process of immigration or citizenship, any legal matters at that, uh, anything that involves big agreements, publishing deals as well are covered here. Major contracts are covered here as well. Well, things again could go in all kinds of directions. There is that element there of shock and surprise, but that surprise could be a delightful surprise as well. Things can resolve very quickly. If you've been engaged in an ongoing matter in these parts, um, in these areas that I mentioned, that can be part of the picture as well, uh, where things resolve very quickly and come to a close in a way that allows you to create even greater opportunity for yourself where you recognize this is a positive turn of events. That's that supportive Jupiter energy there. It is also possible that if you are engaged in a process of higher learning, uh, that you have some very valuable insight or are inspired to make a meaningful change. Even if you work in an institute of higher learning, uh, that can transpire here as well. 
What is especially promising though here is that sense of newness that you thrive on and whatever comes about, it will ultimately in some way remind you of who you are and it will restore you to yourself as well. This full moon is happening in fellow air sign Libra, which means whatever transpires, you're able to use it to your advantage. Now, where it comes to matters of love this month, we have a few things happening that are important to you in the context of love. One is Mars. At the very end of last month, Mars moved into a very flirtatious part of your sky, super flirty part of your sky. And this makes love and the pursuit of love and the connection with another uh, that much more exciting. And there tends to be a desire uh, to connect with other people, uh, almost like a, a motivation, if you will, to experience love that magnifies it for you that much more. What we also have transpiring is the move of Venus. Venus is going to move into uh, the part of the sky where there's so much activity happening this month. On the one hand, outside of love, this is going to ensure that you maximize the blessings of this very lucky energy that's happening mid-month and even of the new moon in the early part of the month. However, this is a part of the sky that is also connected to, on a romantic level, connecting with people spontaneously, romantically, connecting with people online, and also finding it that much easier to say the things that you desire to say, to express and to be understood that much more where it comes to love. If you are open to meeting someone new, yes, the online connections become that much more likely, become that much more blessed as uh, filled with possibility to actually lead you to romantic love. But some of your most powerful connections are gonna happen with a measure of spontaneity to them. At the same time though, all month, there is a strong motivation to experience more joy and to have love be part of it. And that's gonna lead you to being especially brave and putting yourself out there in terms of your flirtations, which will be rewarded. For those of you who are uh, getting to know somebody, perhaps just started dating somebody, it is gonna be that Mars energy that becomes that much more important. You're gonna be uh, inspired to connect with this person that much more, uh, and especially thrilled at developments as they take place. I would also add once Venus changes signs right around the 20th, it's gonna feel uh, that much more relaxed, that much easier to talk to this person as well. For those of you who are in an established bond, well, I do think there's that uh, very strong determination to have fun. There's going to be a sincere desire to reclaim the passion and the, the butterflies and the magic uh, of when you first met this person, and that could lead to some beautiful moments. But once Venus changes signs right around the 20th, it's gonna be that much easier to talk to your partner and to express your love in words as well. What I love about this month for you, well look, I do love that Uranus, your ruling planet, is being activated by that full moon. I'm not promising you easy energy, but it will be exciting, and it will be that developments take place very quickly and you're able to capitalize on them as well. But at the same time, look, we do have one of the luckiest days of the year happening mid-month, and that is just perfect for working with synchronicity, which is ultimately the experience where you find life speaking to you. You're able to make personal connections to what is transpiring around you, and you're able to find yourself just in the right place at the right time, meeting the right person so so much by happenstance and so much in your favor. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week. Unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.